to talk to you about foam rollers because foam rollers are a really great tool to use for recovery. You know, we work out really, really hard, right? And then we get these sore muscles and the next time we go to work out, we're really stiff. Well, you can get a lot better range of motion and get more out of your workout if you foam roll every day. So, different kinds of foam rollers do work different muscles better than others. For the flat kind, this is a Gaim foam roller. This kind is really good for like calves, triceps, shoulders, smaller muscles that um, uh, that you want to work that, that don't necessarily work the best when you roll back and forth, but if you you know need to do a radial roll. So, for example, like a tricep. I'm gonna get down and lie on my stomach to do this. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of roll it back and forth until I find a spot. So there's one right here. Okay, when I find it, I'm gonna alternate between going back and forth, forward on the foam roller, and then also radially, I'm gonna turn my arm to try and get this knot as well as I can. And I have to put a pretty good deal of pressure on this. It's not like I'm just laying my arm on the roller. I'm pushing it in because this is like a massage, right? What I'm feeling that I'm working right now is a knot. And so this lets me roll a knot out without having to pay for a massage session because I can do it whenever. And see, these aren't big movements. They're little tiny, back and forth, just focusing on that particular spot. Okay, now let's say I want to get my deltoid. This is kind of a difficult muscle. You're gonna lay on it, okay? And just use, like your foot, to kind of push you back and forth. You can also change the direction of the roller and lay this way and roll back and forth. This takes a little bit of practice, so it's pretty. Woo. You can also get um, underneath here to get my rear delt. basic roller and also the rumble roller as well is really super great for getting like around your arms and also like if you want to do your groin it's really the perfect shape for this as well you know to kind of get sexy with it Woo. but there's so much tension that we build up in these areas so having the chance to roll it out every day at home it really helps improve your mobility and your range of motion, your flexibility. So that way when you're pushing again in your workouts, your body is totally capable and primed. Okay, now I'm going to talk about a different roller. And this puppy is called the Stealth Align. Now there have been people in Team Athena who have said that this kind of looks like a medieval torture device and quite frankly it does kind of remind me of something that Billy Crystal or whatever his name has been using in Princess Bride. Um, but it's really awesome. I'll tell you why. First of all, if you look at it, you have these two raised bumps with kind of like tire treads on it and then you've got this little cavern in right here, okay? So if you have a tight quad or a tight calf, you can kind of like wedge your calf in between here and you get the sides. That is really great, kind of not something that's so easy to get with um, the basic flat roller. That's kind of hard. And also you can even get right up in your ankle because if you're someone like me who jumps a lot, your ankles start getting really um, sore and stiff. Okay, but what's really, really magical about these two ridges are two things. First of all, if you do a lot of core work, you can work out your abs. Oh, man. 
it gets your rectus abdominis so well. But I just ate, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time there. I am going to show you though. One of the tricky things when you have a flat foam roller is getting your back muscles. Because unfortunately, it's hard to distribute weight on one side or the other without kind of having to strain other muscles or twist in odd ways um, so that you're getting the weight just right. Well, with this, um, with the ridges, you don't have to worry about twisting or turning to get the weight distribution right to get a really good massage. It does, you know, that's what these little treads are for. So you just line it up, okay, with your back. Now when you're doing your lower back, you kind of want to keep a C curve. That way you're getting the maximum um, massage out of it, okay? But as you get up, you're going to want to start lifting up your hips. This makes sure that you're still pushing full weight into it. It kind of makes a little bit of an ab and booty workout too. And see, notice that I don't do huge movements on this, right? They're small and focused. So I'm trying to find those little knots and really work them out. And oh, there's one. So when I find a good one, I'm just going to relax into it for a minute. Kind of help break it up. And then roll. And then relax. It hurts. And roll and relax right it's just kind of a process you can spend like quite a long time working this I'm not going to because that's gonna be a really boring video but I did want to show you one cool thing also about this guy that you can do so Take care.